knowledge that life has come into the world. Jesus, right, you're on think the about cross it. Think about it. Us for that. How am I condemning you? Jesus said you're already condemned. Fine. What is your message? Those the Bible says John three, uh, chapter three, verse eighteen says that those who do not believe on Him and believe it on Jesus Hello. needs to follow after Him. That those that do not believe on Him are condemned already, but those who do believe on Him are not condemned. I'm so believing on Jesus I'm makes you a disciple to follow Jesus. You should be preaching. Well, you should be preaching the good news. You should be telling the truth. In the recognition of the Lord, our Savior, Yeah, well, Jesus your Christ. life, your life should not be blasting Jesus it, it Christ. Feel a little bit strong. Right, right. Your life instead is blaspheming oh, my, the name of Christ. What about it? You That's why. About my life. Well, my friend, let me tell you, when you're in friendship with the world, you're in agreement with the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. That's James chapter now, four. How am I an enemy right, of right. God? By being agreement with the world. Yeah, well, if you're a my believer, then you would be doing the works of Jesus. Of Jesus Christ. Well, then it would produce the you're works welcome. of Jesus, not the way of the world. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, oh, those that love me will honor my word. Those that honor, Honor his word will live out his word, my friend. That's what the Bible says. That's what the word of God says. Those who love him will honor his word. There's no other way. That's why we come out here. That's why I want everybody to know that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Hypocrites will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what he said. I'm a believer. Yeah, but if you're a believer, then you'll be doing the works of Christ. You'll be following Christ. Well, the good thing is that you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. To give you an example, and that's what we're doing. All my, my friends saviors. here, but my if he's your savior, that means you're going to live for your savior. Right. Right. And so, if you're going to live for your the savior Jesus, then you're going to obey his word. That's why Jesus said, "If I you love me, Lord, if you love word. me, you will keep my word." Right. Right. You're not in partnership what with the word. What part am I breaking right now? Well, what part? Well, you're denying the truth. You don't want to what, hear what the part? truth. What part? You're telling me instead of hearing the truth, saying that what I'm saying is the wrong way to do it. I'm not saying that anything. Jesus, I'm genuinely asking you, well, what am I violating? That's what you said. So I'm by you, believer. no, no, my what, friend. What part of If you were a believer, my friend, you would be standing and believing with us. You this have good not news. told me what you believe in. No, my friend, I've been preaching all night. My, my friend, you now are blind. That's why you can't see. Talk to you more. You think you know, do but you, you don't know. What do you believe? Keep on hearing. I'll continue to preach. You what keep you on believe? hearing. The Bible says that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and life. No not your alcohol, no not your drugs, that. not your sexual immorality, no that. not your homosexuality. We all believe in Jesus, Jesus is the only way. No, we they don't. Jesus. Jesus said that if you believe on him, Dude, nobody, you will honor his word. Dude, Hypocrites will not, Dude. will have their place in the lake of fire with the devil and his angels. Dude, but you no, don't have to be that way, my friend. Nobody has questioned That's you. why nobody we tell you. you. Well, obviously, I don't expect anybody to question anything because you believe you love darkness rather than light because your deeds are evil. That's why we say what we're saying here tonight. What are you saying? Jesus though? said that if message. you love me, me you will follow my word. But Give instead, me. many people like my friend here are blind. They I'm claim blind, they know. Bro. They I'm claim they say, but instead they're blind to the truth what because they at? compromise. The Bible says that those that walk as he walks are walking in the light. What the hell is this God talking about, dude? Walking in I'm the a light. Believer. This is why many people are blind. They know better, but instead of following the truth, Instead of denying this, this world, they love darkness Honestly, rather than light. Bible, if you, you read, read the, the Bible, Bible, my friend, you wouldn't be walking the way you're walking. You the if, you if you read the Bible, you wouldn't be a hypocrite. Let me tell you, my friend, if you read the Bible and you follow it word by word, my friend, you will see life. You will have life. Well, first of all, we need to understand when we believe on Jesus Christ, Jesus said, if any man or woman going to follow after him, they need to deny themselves, take up their cross and follow him. Jesus is the only way. Jesus, the Lord Jesus name But to truly follow Jesus is to his word. My friend, I'm testing your words, my friend. You have hate in your heart. You have hate in your heart for the truth. Oh, because I if you had this, heart. then you would hear. You would respond. 
You would say, I need you what you're talking about. And you That's why you are the way you are. are. You're convicted. It's time to get right. It's time to turn from this wicked, perverse generation. See, when Jesus saves you, he heals you. He delivers you. He delivers you from your compromise, from your wickedness. He delivers you. My friend, I just want you to know you can be saved, delivered, and healed. You don't need to walk like this way of the world. You don't have to take part in temples of the devil. Don't you know this? These are temples of the devil. The music you listen to is indoctrinating you and intoxicating you. It's indoctrinating and intoxicating you, my friend. That's why we're here to tell you the truth. Followers, I'm here to talk to you guys about the truth of the Bible. If you the had gospel, the truth, my friend, you just read the then Bible, you would pay attention the to the Bible. You're not the listening gospel, to the truth. You're not hearing the gospel. You, the way, the, 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 you see, that's why we come to tell you, because you got wolves in sheep clothing. You got wolves in sheep clothing, ma'am. Y'all need to repent. You want to have the right kind of marriage? Look to Jesus Christ. He is the author, the finisher of our faith. You're not supposed to be a part of this world. You're supposed to be a part of the kingdom of God. You're supposed to be ambassadors of God. You're supposed to be children of light, not children of darkness. He set you free. We don't deliberately go on sinning. That's good. It's showing you the Bible, my friend. Look at you. You're worried more about the flashlight than to see the free gifts of the word of God right here. Dude, I've been baptized. My friend, it doesn't work, my friend. It hasn't worked for you. Why hasn't it because worked? Because if you believe in the I'm baptism, do you know what baptism means, man? What do my I friend, it is symbolizing. Listen, if you want to hear it, I, I'm being baptized, here. right? It I is symbolized. Died in the world. It doesn't save you. Jesus All right, well, get ready. In salvation. Get ready. This is really going to save you. Get ready. This is what baptism is, my friend. Yeah. It is symbolizing of you dying to self. You get dunked in the water and you come out in the newness of life. So you're not the old person. You're not going to your old clubs. You're not walking your old ways. You're not doing your old things. You now are brand new. That's why Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. The abundant life in Christ Jesus. But let me tell you, that's the, that's the flaw of, of baptism. Many of y'all say, right, bro? I got baptized. I got dunked in the water. You see, your problem is, is like my friend here. He thinks that he's been baptized in water that he's saved, but he's not. He needs to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what he needs. He don't have the Holy Spirit. You see, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, it's more likely because your yeah, temple you is Spirit, filthy. I'm looking at him. It's demonic. Your temple of the devil. When you continue to walk in this way, turn to Jesus Christ while you still can. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Humble yourself in the sight of God and he will lift you up in Jesus Christ. I'm a Christ believer myself. Praise the Lord. What does, uh, what would Jesus say if the mother's life was in danger? What would Jesus say if the mother's life is in danger? Is that what I understand? In, in the case of an abortion, if the mother's life was in danger. That's a, that's a good question for me. Yeah. Because like, if I imagine my wife is in danger of losing her life with a pregnancy, I would well, if not, not allow, but... Everything medical possible has been tried, then... Most of the time, if the mother's gonna die, I mean, that's that's the decision between the mother and a father. Whatever they end up doing, they're not gonna be judged for it. But I can tell you something else, is that God heals. God is a God of miracles. And I've seen some things that were would seem impossible to us, but are possible to God. But we know calls have to be made like that if they're justified on truth. But what we do know is that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And so trusting in God, trusting in Him, even to when it seems like you're at the edge, it's most of the time when God works the most. You know, because you had a legitimate, most time people don't ask those kind of questions because they're asking, well, it's my body, I want to do whatever I want to do, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know majority do that because of the culture we live in, right? He set us free not to live in that way no more. God has a special woman for your life. You know that? I don't know if you're married. He has someone just for you, my friend. But you need to be the man of God that he's created you to be. But you have to focus go. on him. You got to come out and be separated. What's your name? 
Lucas. Lucas, nice my talking name is Jacob. Jacob, I'm nice out. We're out here every Friday and Saturday, my friend. I'll be here. Good count. Hey, we gotta go. We're